It's no secret smugglers will go to elaborate and extreme measures when crossing the border. Today, Not On Your Side got a first look at the newest tool to fight the flow of contraband. Here's Not On Your Side's Justin Shecker with a story from Nogales. Cocaine stashed under a car's back seat, meth packed in a van's sliding door, and even a human hidden in a suitcase. These are just examples of contraband confiscated by U.S. Customs and Border Protection at the ports of entry in Nogales. Starting in April, vehicles suspected of smuggling won't only be subject to routine searches. They'll have to drive through these high-tech Z portals. If the vehicle is, re is referred to secondary area, that's going to be one of our tools that we could use to expedite the process during the vehicle inspection. Instead of dismantling cars and crawling into tight spaces, the clear images produced by the Z portals will help CBP officers find illegal items, oftentimes tucked away in tires, trunks, and gas tanks. Here at the Mariposa Port of Entry, construction is complete on two of the Z portals. This one right here is for cars, and the one over to my left is for the bus lane. Right now, officers are training to use these x-ray machines as an added tool to keep contraband out of the country. It's safe for the operator and the driver. The x-ray dosage is very low. CBP is also adding a car size Z portal at the Deconcini Port of Entry. It's going to assist the officers, but ultimately is, is the officer's experience. They are our best asset within the service. In Nogales, Justin Shecker, KGA 9 on your side.